All week long, we've been counting down to Super Bowl 50 here on News Channel 11. This Sunday afternoon is when it's going to happen, and artist Bill Bledsoe has shown us some of his favorite paintings from past Super Bowls. We welcome him back this morning with the painting he created from what he considers, I'd say, the most important Super Bowl ever. Is that how you That's would right. put it? Yeah, I would say so. I mm -hmm. think that uh, in our in the popular consciousness of the Super Bowl, as mm -hmm. we prepare for it and get excited about it, it's the two Super Bowls that the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Dallas Cowboys played against one another. You'll never see an ensemble of talent, both on the coaching staff, the players, uh, and the identities of those two teams. You've got a blue collar Pittsburgh Steeler, you got America's team, the, the, the team that wore the white jerseys, the team that wore the black jerseys. And both of those games came down to the wire. Uh, they defined all the players uh, on both sides, uh, uh, both teams and both sides of the ball. It just I, and it raised the bar for all other, I think, athletic competition as far as championships were concerned. So where the Jets made the Super Bowl popular, mm -hmm. and we talked about how the Cardinals-Pittsburgh game is considered the best played Super Bowl game, right. nothing's going to compare uh, to those two Super Bowls where Pittsburgh and Dallas played each other. I, I remember during that time that just the feel, the entire country mm -hmm. was kind of glued. Sure. I mean, everybody, it was like a dividing line. There was no gray area. That's it right. Was a lot of people, it was either Pittsburgh or Dallas. That's exactly right. And I think that, I, I think that it's just the drama. When you look, when you look back in the, at the films of, that cover the game, as an artist, I could do 30 paintings. Right. Of either of those games, you know, Rocky Blyer, Roger Staubach, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Tony Dorsett, uh, Lynn Swan, Brad, I mean, there's just, there's no end to it. And so I don't think we'll ever see a combination like that again but because of that it has it has instilled in all of us a real a kind of enthusiasm and expectation for the Super Bowl that before we didn't have mm -hmm. and so um, anyway again uh, and I'm, I'm not a big fan of Pittsburgh and Dallas right. per se I like Pittsburgh a lot but I'm a Jets fan right but it is what it is you know <laughs> it's just they it, it was a great time in football history and we always look back on those particular games. And I think we these games kind of launched the theory that Super Bowl Sunday is almost a national holiday. Sure it is. I think that it's almost to the point where I think our government should even <laughs> probably look at it a little bit. <laughs> well, I mean, it is. It's just it, everybody get exci gets excited about it mm -hmm. again. Whether you like football or not, you can't help but acknowledge it in some form or another. And, you know, and everybody, did. and of course for me, just doing the paintings of the right. Super Bowl right after it's over is yeah. a real joy. And I'm going to ask you about, that's going to be my last question this week as we, as we finish up this segment, but when you look at the Super Bowl, you're watching the Super Bowl, do you, do you see just one image that jumps out at you, or is it just the composite of images? How do you grasp what you paint? It's a combination of those. Sometimes it is a particular play uh, or something that's just without question defined it. Uh, other times it's just that it, it, it might be the defense, how they play through the game or the offense. Uh, it could be a bunch of different things. Obviously our anticipation is the focus on Peyton right. and his career right. and this possibly being his last game. And, and uh, But at the same time you have another team that's playing, mm -hmm. uh, Carolina, right. uh, and, and you know th there could be something there that uh, clearly defines the game. So as partial say as I am to Peyton, right. you know, I have to be fair in uh, how I render that. But, you know, and I can't, I'll tell you, there's been nights I've done paintings and I hated doing them. Last year when I did the Patriots, yeah. I hated doing that. <laughs> but it turned out to be one of the best paintings I'd ever done of the Super Bowl. So you can never ever make that call until it's all said and done with and you look back on it and say, well, well, you put your pa passion into the sure. painting, and so you know your intense dislike for the it was for awful. the Patriots. You know, came you know, but Chris. it came through in your talent. Well, it there was awful, go. Chris. But you <laughs> saw me through it the next day. <laughs> we had a good time. I tell you what, a lot of folks are saying, you know, I cheer for the Carolina Panthers, I cheer for the Denver Broncos, and then we have that third group that says, I'm cheering for Peyton. And they're cheering for Peyton. That's, That's exactly so right. So Every now and then, you do have a Super Bowl where mm -hmm. everybody's cheering for an individual. It's rare. Yes. And uh, but uh, I just want to see a great game, even if the, even if Denver were to lose that it would be a great game a close game and yeah. he's able to walk away with dignity as in how he performed that game absolutely and we all can take joy in that because he's been such a great role model for kids all these years and I'm a big deal that's yeah. a big deal for me all right Bill Bledsoe Thanks, thank Chris. you so much thank my you friend. so much you don't know how much I've enjoyed these segments oh, well, this thank week. you for and having me we got me. you I've one more it. time on Monday that's it. be bringing in a painting of the very first Super Bowl that's right and your take on this year's on Super the 50th Bowl. that's right you got that to look forward to on Monday